попадает на So that's the fish, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Efe, and this is my kitchen, Efe Food Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make fried mackerel fish or titles as it's called in Nigeria. So in front of you is the fish, which is washed thoroughly. I washed it a few times and dried it. So now I am going to season it. But before I season it, I'm going to dry it one more time to make sure there's no moisture. I want to make sure all the moisture is gone. I don't want any moisture in it. So now, I'm going to put that in the bag. So now I'm re ready to season this fish. So let's season. The first thing I'm going to be using is my complete seasoning which has a bunch of spices the thing i don't want to over season this fish but i still need to season it so i'm putting a teaspoon of all purple seasoning that is what i'm using guys all purple seasoning the next thing i'm going to use is dry pepper huh. In short, as you can see, I even labeled it. When I bought this thing, I was like, oh, this this uh, pepper cannot be hot. <laughs> I was wrong. It was so hot. So I had to label it so my kids will not mistake it for uh, paprika. Because it's the same color. This one, a little goes a long way. It's very, very hot. It's as hot as the one in Nigeria. So I'm only putting a tiny bit. If not, no one will be able to eat it. That's all I'm putting, guys. And this is hot. All you need is even the smell. Ooh. When you smell it, you, all, you got, all you're doing is sneezing. So I'm putting, I put, I didn't even put up to half. A quarter of a teaspoon of dry pepper. Next thing going in is paprika. This is very mild. It's not hot at all. So half a teaspoon of that as well. And I'm also going to be putting salt. I'm putting half a teaspoon of salt. If I need, if it needs more, I will add more, but I don't want to over, over salt it. And last but not least, I'm putting ginger and garlic paste. You can't do fish without adding ginger. This shot, you have to. So I'm putting a full teaspoon of that. So that goes in. Now I'm going to go in with my hands and season it. Make sure it goes everywhere, both inside, outside, all the inside. Make sure it's all combined. So I'm going to, it's well seasoned now. So I'm going to cover it with a clean film wrap and let it rest for about an hour to two hours. Normally it should be longer, but I don't have that time. So it's clean thing now. So I'm going to leave it to rest for a few minutes. So how are we going to achieve the crispiness on the fish? Is by adding flour. Some people tend to add corn flour. Some people tend to add potato starch, but I'm using flour. Adding flour, I 
want it to be properly cooked here. so i'm using i will say this is equivalent to to one cup of flour this size and then i'm also using baking a bit of baking powder I'm using a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix it. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of salt. Just to season the flour a bit so you're not using bland flour. Just remember that the fish is seasoned, so you don't want to over season the flour, it might be too overpowering. And last but not least, I'm using a bit of smoked paprika in the flour. I'm using. Oh. Okay, that's not a full thing. A full teaspoon. Give that a mix. So now I'm ready to flour this fish. So the fish has been marinating for a total of two hours and forty-five minutes, which is longer than I even so it's well uh, marinated combined so i'm gonna be dipping it into this flour remember this has flour baking powder and a bunch of spices so i'm gonna dip it inside I don't want to use my hand because that pepper huh, is lethal. I'm telling you, I kid you not. That pepper. <laughs> One day I was cooking and I thought it was mild. <laughs> I thought I never again when I cook so much. That's why I only put a little, very small. I don't want to. I have to respect myself. <laughs> so I don't know if I can see this. So what I'm going to do as I have it in the flour, I'm going to take off the excess and put it on this um, chopping board to rest. The oil is hot. I just checked. The oil has to be really hot. So what will make the fish crispy is the flour. So the fish has been marinated and floured. So I'm getting ready to fry it now. I'm going to start to put the fish in the oil. The oil is hot enough. I didn't put it too hot. I put it, I put it medium flame, as you can see. Because if it's too hot or too high, it will cook quickly, but it won't be cooked on the inside. I want it to cook slowly, but not too slowly, but um, I want it to be crunchy. As you can see, our oil is hot. I want it to cook slowly so it can cook. And then it can crunch up as well. So as you can see, I'm shaking up the excess flour. I'm not going to crowd the pan, but if there's space, I'm going to put my face. This fish is amazing. This goes very well with them. You can have it with custard, 
uh, uh, you can drink it with curry or with bread, you know, just anything, anything you like. So I'm just gonna leave that to cook. I don't want it to be too, to cook too fast. I want it to cook and I want it to crunch up as well. But for so now it's on medium flame as you can see. So I'm just gonna leave it for the next five to six minutes and I'll come back and check. But I'm still around, I don't want to leave. Especially when you're cooking with oil. So let's check on our fish. It's almost ready. But I want it to be nice and crunchy. Crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. That's the fish we're talking about. A flowered fish. This one, uh, if you have two or three, you won't even know when you finish it. Even if you wanted to drink it, have it with soap dairy, which is cassava flakes. Before you even the soak the gary and put water or whatever it is you want to put, the fish is finished. <laughs> it's true now. You just be honest. Every time you look, there's no fish to eat the gary. <laughs> it's going to be gone. Oh, the aroma coming from my kitchen is indescribable. So, I will soon be taking it out, but I want it to put up a bit more. And our fish is ready, so I'm going to be taking it out now. I'm leaving it to uh, drain, the oil to drain on the... I'm going to be putting it on here, with the kitchen towel. That's it guys, that's the last of it. So it's all fried, delicious, crunchy. And that's the fish guys, that's our fish. I'm going to show you what one looks like. You see how crunchy it is? Sure. Very crunchy. I'm going to show you what one looks like. Mm. Very crunchy. Very okay. Mm. Can you can you hear the crunch from my mouth? Very crunchy, like you're eating chin chin. Okay, and it's nicely seasoned as well. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Like this video, share this video with your friends and family and loved ones. And leave your comments drop your comments tell me what you want me to cook next I'm open to suggestions we are all here learning thank you so much to all my amazing subscribers I love you so much I appreciate you and if you're new to my channel and this is your first time stopping by you're most welcome and I hope you visit again if you like what you see so far 
Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.